Google's AI just accused a US senator of sexual misconduct with fake links, fake evidence, everything. And now Google is in deep trouble. Hello and welcome to the video. Today, we're going to talk about Gemma, Google's so-called responsible open source AI model that just crossed a very dangerous line. It created an entire fake story of a real person, US Senator Marsha Blackburn, accusing her of a serious crime that never happened. And what's worse, it even generated fake URLs and citations to make it look real. So what exactly happened? And why did AI come up with something like this? And what does this mean for the future of open AI models. Let's break it down step by step. So what's Gemma? It's Google's open source artificial intelligence model, mainly built for developers. In simple terms, it's a smart tool that coders and engineers use behind the scenes to build new ways for computers to understand and generate information. So the idea was to give some of the best brains in tech the freedom to experiment and maybe build the next big thing in AI. But sometimes when powerful technology are released for testing, things go off course. So what exactly happened? Gemma was available on Google's AI studio and someone decided they're going to try out a highly sensitive real world question. They asked whether US Senator Marsha Blackburn had ever been accused of rape. Instead of giving a no or admitting ignorance, Gemma's response shocked everyone. It cooked up a detailed, totally false story claiming Blackburn was accused by the state trooper of pressuring him to get her prescription drugs involved in non-consensual acts during her 1987 Senate campaign. To make it look convincing, AI also tossed in links to news stories, except all of them were landing to error pages or nowhere. Blackburn wasn't just surprised, she was furious. She sent a straight letter to Google CEO Sundar Pichai saying, in her words, it was an act of defamation, a moment where Google's owned model created and spread horrible criminal accusations about a real person without any basis. She pointed out her actual Senate period was during 1998 and not 1987 and people and events described by Gemma never happened. And here's what makes this story even wilder. Gemma had also made up nasty claims about other people like activist Robbie Starbuck saying he was a child rapist and a serial sexual abuser. Again, totally invented and unsupported by facts. The senator's office was quick to respond and send a direct legal notice to Google CEO Sundar Pichai's office. Within days, Google pulled out Gemma from its public AI studio, citing misuse and potential defamation. So why is this a big deal? This wasn't a random bug. It exposed a deeper problem, the one which every major AI company is trying to avoid. What happens when an AI invents defamation about real people. Gemma wasn't supposed to be used for fact-based Q&A or public-facing chat, but because it was open source, developers and even regular users could still access and deploy it in ways Google never intended. That's the danger of open AI. Once it's out there, anybody can tweak it, train it and weaponize it. And when it starts generating harmful or baseless allegations, who takes the blame? The developer, the user, or Google? After the Blackburn incident went viral, Google restricted access to Gemma, removed it from AI Studio, and issued a public statement. They said the model had been misused outside its intended purpose, and that they are reviewing how to prevent this from happening again. But that statement didn't calm everyone down. Critics says it isn't about one senator. It's about how AI can spread defamation at scale. If a powerful company like Google can't stop its own model from fabricating serious accusations, what happens to these tools 
when it is handed over to millions of the users. Because this could easily happen to anyone, a journalist, a business owner, a politician, or even you. AI hallucinations aren't just funny mistakes anymore. They are becoming legal and ethical nightmares. Imagine an AI tool falsely labeling someone as criminal or fraud and help it spread across social media rapidly before it's corrected. Once that happens, reputation can be damaged instantly and no model update can undo the damage. And that makes us to the biggest question, should AI be this open? This is where the controversy deepens. Google originally promoted Gemma as an open and safe model for developers to trust and use. But now the question is, can any AI model be actually open and safe at the same time? Some experts argue that closing off models will stifle innovation. Others believe open source AI is a ticking time bomb, giving anyone the power to create misinformation without accountability. And it's not just in the US. Countries like India are already pushing for AI accountability laws, especially after this incident. They want to make these AI companies legally responsible if their system causes harm. So what does this mean for the future? The Gamma's controversy might look like another AI blender, but it's actually a warning shot. It shows how even responsible AI can go horribly wrong when used the wrong way. For developers, it's a lesson in caution. For governments, it's a wake-up call for regulation. And for the rest of us, it's a reminder that AI isn't perfect, no matter how advanced it sounds. Because if the models can fabricate stories about Senator today, what's stopping it from doing it for you tomorrow? So the question now is it about if AI can generate human-like answers, but it's can we trust it blindly. What do you think? Is Google being unfairly blamed? Or should open source AI models come with stricter limits? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.